Joe, gracias por haber aceptado la invitación de venir a, a Puerto Rico. Sabemos que tienes una agenda mega cargada, ahora en especial, siendo el jefe de la oficina de los, de los astronautas en la, en la NASA. Eh, tenemos tres preguntas para ti. Eh, I'm going to switch. It's going to be in English. Y todas van a estar relacionadas a STEM education y, y la importancia de, de STEM. So, how has your background in STEM education contributed to your success as an astronaut? Yeah, so my background is uh, in geology, um, which is, you know, very helpful, especially now as we plan to go back to the moon. Having that background is great. Uh, so, you know, doing that, having various jobs, technical jobs, working as a geologist. Uh, but I came to NASA before that. I was a school teacher. And being a school teacher is perfect for being an astronaut because you learn how to adapt. And every day is different, you know, when you're in a classroom, which is very similar to being an astronaut. That's amazing. Um, and your experience, why is STEM education crucial for aspiring astronauts and space exploration? Yeah, so right now to become an astronaut, you have to have a degree in the STEM areas. Um, but the STEM areas are not, you know, only important to become an astronaut. It's important for all the things that you are doing here at this summit where space industry is great and that's what I represent, but there's a lot of other work that can be done here, you know, with the environment, uh, with electricity, uh, with looking at having, you know, potable water and things like that. So um, we need those students to be in the STEM fields because they are our future. That's true. And last but not least, what advice will you offer to young individuals interested in pursuing a career in space-related fields, particularly those who may want to work with international partners and use language like Spanish in their endeavors? Yeah, so um, if you are studying right now in the STEM fields, keep doing that. Find something that you really like because then everything it doesn't seem like a job. Um, but the world is very international now. You know, I travel to Russia a lot working with the Russians. And so every student that is here in Puerto Rico has an advantage because they're already learning two languages. And once you learn those, that first language, that second language, it makes it even easier to learn more. So you are one step ahead of everybody else. So you're doing great. Thank you. And last but not least, this is Añapita. Any advice for the students and the teachers specifically? What is your advice for the teachers here in Puerto Rico? Well, let me go to the students first. Uh, appreciate your teachers because they work very hard for you. Um, we know that you do not become a teacher to make a lot of money or to become famous. It is the most uh, important job. It may be one of the least appreciated jobs. Um, so we need to support our teachers. And to the teaching community, I just want to say thank you for all that you do. You are making a difference in the world. You are giving us our future leaders. We love you and we appreciate you. Gracias.